Alex Arthur, thanks for talking to FrankRowan.tv. Good to see you. It's the first time I've had a chance to talk to you since you were awarded the world title properly in its entirety. We know you had the interim belt for a while, but what's it, what's it like now? You are officially world champion. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, I mean, uh, I think that, you know, I'm going to have to hear it being announced while I'm in that ring to really enjoy the the time, you know, and really let it sink in that I'm the world champion. You know, that'll be that'll be a great night. And obviously that's going to happen on uh, the 6th of September at the Manchester Evening News Arena here in Manchester, which is why we're here at this press conference. Um, it's going to be quite a while, isn't it? September obviously is that fight, yeah. and, and you last fought in December, yeah, so it's, it, it's about nine months before, yeah. in between the two fights. How that's going to be for you? Um, I think it's actually going to do me more more good than harm, you know. I think it was coming to the point that I felt like I needed a little rest, you know. I had a few little niggles that, that needed taken care of that I was just training through through and, um, and completely ignoring and they needed a dress you know and we've had time to do that um, I sparred a few weeks ago and I was very sharp which was great um, and I'm really looking forward to getting back in that ring you know that's where I belong and I'm, I'm really looking forward to being back there. You mentioned that you needed a rest there your last fight against Stephen Foster Jr um, if you were to give yourself marks out of 10 for that fight it was, it was a close affair how would you assess your performance? Um, I was not entirely happy with my performance at all. I thought it was a poor performance on my behalf. Um, on the run-up to the fight, I had numerous problems that I don't really want to go into, you know, but um, as a true professional does, you know, you knuckle down and you get on with the job that you've got ahead of you, and I've done that. Um, you know, even though it never went the way I wanted to, you know, I was successful, and you've got to remember that, and uh, that's the past now, you know. I'm concentrating on the future, and, you know, things have... Um, Things have smoothed out a lot since then, and um, I'm looking at a new Alex Arthur in the next fight. Happy with the weight, make, making the weights okay? Because that was one of the criticisms at the time that the people were suggesting that maybe you know you were a little weight drained. That definitely was the case last time. You know, I had um, I had a really difficult time making the weight. Um, we weren't entirely sure how or why. Um, we we did go for some um, some tests and some assessments and we'd found at the time that I'd gained about three or four kilograms in muscle um, over a period of 12 months, which I didn't really need. Um, we'd done a lot of strength and conditioning training, which um, put a little bit too much muscle mass on me, particularly in the in the quads and the glutes. And as a boxer, you don't really need to be uh, so muscular down there unless you're a heavyweight or something of that nature you know you need to be more speed based and obviously strength endurance is important so we've worked more recently over the past nine months of them um, of ridden that excess muscle with them um, you know a lot of interval training a lot of cardiovascular work and and I'm actually feeling much much better now that I've not got the excess muscle there when you say we who's your man who, who, who's your trainer at the moment and um, well I train with Edinburgh University um, with some of the top sports scientists, strength and conditioning coaches up there. They're a fantastic team, they really are good. Um, we just all got a little bit carried away, um, particularly me and my, and my head strength and conditioning coach John Watson with the amount of weights that I was lifting and how strong I was getting um, really quite quickly. Um, we could resort to that in the future if we want to move up in weight, but just now it's about maintaining strength, not about gaining size or, and strength combined, you know, so um, yeah. Well, let, let, let's, let, let's look forward a little bit. September the 6th is Nicky Cook is your man, a man hungry for a world title in, in his own right. Of He's course. had a failed bid already. How would you assess Nicky Cook's strengths and weaknesses? Nicky Cook's a brilliant fighter, you know, he's, um, he's got a lot of ability, um, he's, got a good, he's got a good base, you know, a good foundation, he's, um, he was a good amateur, you know, he's a British Commonwealth and European champion, same as myself, um, you know, and he's moving up a weight class which I think will suit him as well because um, I think Nicky was tight at featherweight, um, obviously he fought for the world title against um, Lou Evano who's a good little fighter and um, unfortunately Nicky was beaten in that fight. But, you know, I had the mindset of a challenger once. You know, when I fought Kobe, I was terribly cut, um, two really bad cuts. Um, I was repeatedly butted, hit low, and, and a lot of pain during the fight. And, you know, and very, very tired. And I remember thinking, I'll go through anything to get this belt. And I guess Nicky Cook will probably be coming with a similar mindset. I've got to remember that and structure my mindset like a challenger, you know. You just mentioned about mindset and challenges there. You're obviously a world champion now. Have you felt that your mindset has changed because of it? Um, yeah, most definitely. You know, you need to live like a world champion, train like a world champion, act like a world champion at all times, you know. Realise what you are and the blessings that God's gave you, you know. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you just have to realise that, um, you know, you have to conduct yourself properly all the time. 
And normally, obviously, you're used to your Scottish fans coming out in force and supporting you, but we're going to be in Manchester at the Even News Arena. How keen are you to come out and show your fans in this area just how good you are? Brilliant. I mean, uh, you know, I love Manchester. I always have. I love Manchester people. They're fantastic people. And they really know their boxing and they love their boxing. And I'm sure that the majority of the fans are mad in September. Thanks, Alex. No worries. Thanks. Okay.